And when we jump into Infineon, then uh, I think it is very much already reflected what the thoughts are there. 30 years ago, when you have asked, would have asked me, what is of importance for Infineon? Then the answer would have been technology. We are the leaders in technologies. We have great engineers, scientists, and they do uh, make a difference by the technology they offer. This is still true. But nevertheless, the focus has changed. The people, especially the young people, ask, what is our purpose? Why do we do what we do? And based on this, we started to think about what is our purpose? What are the elements which we will drive? What are elements which we contribute to? That's quite interesting. When you think about what is your purpose and how can you contribute to the challenge that is of the world, you will be able to develop a strategy which is long-lasting, which is not only about the next two or three years making money. It is about how you make a difference. And we developed together this picture, our vision, our mission, and our values. It's quite interesting. We were very often addressing that Europe has a certain disadvantage, being slow, being... I think there are capabilities, and putting these together uh, with a certain agility and thinking about how to make, move forward, then I think we can really make a difference on a global level. And I, <clears throat> with this, we have set our mission that we want to be, uh, make the world easier, we want to make it safer and greener. And our vision in this context is we link the real and the digital world. You may ask what this means. I will come to this in a minute. On the same way, we, there is a very clear thing. It is uh, the set of values which we have. And uh, I think this topic of uh, to partner, to innovate, to think about the performance we have, all of these have to contribute to this picture. Now, how come? Well, there are very clear tr things on the world, very clear topics, which on one side want to be solved, on the other side, they are an opportunity to us. The demographic and uh, the societal challenges, the number of people on earth, the percentage of elderly people, everybody want to have a better life. The, all of this is just a matter of fact. It cannot be stopped. And I think even we have to acknowledge everybody has the right to have a good life. So we cannot only act with the thinking of limitations. We have to think about how we can make it happen. Make it happen in a way that we do not spoil all our resources as we do today. So the very clear intention of Infineon is how can we do more out of less? We have to deal with the challenges which comes along with this. The typical way how the evolution, uh, the productivity, the world gets more industrialized, the world gets more connected. We heard about the risks of the connectivity. On the other side, if you do it right, if you do it balanced between the, I would say, thinking on moving forward versus the balance of what is to be achieved in priority, then the digital transformation has a big potential to solve these problems. Bringing the resources closer to the use case, um, making sure that there is more efficiency in all of this. Think about well, the challenge of the renewable energy in Germany. I think we have been taking great steps in order to improve the amount of renewables. But on the other side, you have seen it didn't lead to the CO2 reduction uh, which we intended to. There you have to think about how can you create a system that works and works in a balanced manner. I think the, int the assumption that human can manage this without the support of the digital is, I would say, a little bit um, very challenging. The complexity has increased so significantly that we should use 
the digitalization as an instrument which can support what we do. So here, these are the topics when you go one level lower because democratic changes are very high level, is what we do. So first of all, energy efficiency. I think the most important element is that we make here, I would say, the, more again out of what we consume. That is this topic that the best energy source is the uh, source of avoiding uh, to waste energy. And this is about how we can do things differently using technology. It's quite interesting. This is a topic which is driving the company then more than 20 years. Since a time when this has not yet been really on the top page of everybody. And the next topic is, I would say, the smart mobility. First of all, clean, and then being supportive and, uh, I would say, providing a better efficiency of life, a better life as such. I think here to say mobility has to stop is not very real, realistic in an industrialized world, in a world where we want to move around. Therefore, I think this is uh, a very important element for us. The same is better communication. The better use of human capabilities is one thing which I believe is extremely important. We will become older as human beings. Nevertheless, we want still to be able to be active and not worn out. So machines should help us to have a better life, a life which is still helping us, uh, let's say, to resolve the more autonomous tasks, and we can focus on different things. And of course, this topic of higher prosperity. I said it at the beginning, everybody has a right for a good life. A lie. Nevertheless, everybody having the right for a good life also has to think about what he or she has to well, think about how much we can afford in moving forward. So now, what is Infineon focusing on? We believe that you have to connect the real world with the digital world. Understanding the real world well and providing the data which can then, again, in a due manner being processed in the digital world, can help you to achieve what I said before. Better resources, better lives. I think here we have some examples uh, put down here. Some are for comfort, some are for efficiency, some are for, uh, I would say, also a completely different way of doing things. We are very much in the middle. How can this be done? It, of course, the best to compare to the human being. The human being can recognize what is going on, can process the data, can, uh, let's say, and then act on it. All of these, what is about sensors, being connected, machines acting on. I think the most common machine, which many people have, is the automatic lawnmower. I think you can have brighter ones of those. Uh, you can have less. Many people have the automatic vacuum cleaner. Many things can go on here and can think about what else can be done. But you also can have the collaborative robot. And this is what you need. First of all, sensors microcontrollers and power, being connected, and all of this in a way that you achieve the target of IT security. Very interesting is that in the last years, the evolution of the sensors, which are extremely important to do this. Think about, uh, smart, I would say, agriculture of the future. You will put as much fertilizer as you absolutely need, water, locally as you need. So you have more output of an arable land without wasting things. So by the way, many people are not aware how much we waste phosphorus. We really will sooner or later run out of phosphorus, which is a fertilizer. And we should think about these things today, not tomorrow. The digitalization can help. So Infineon is in this area of developing sensors, actuaries and microcontrollers, and think about the solution which can be achieved using those.
moving forward, even to, I think here, we think about what is a technology where we can see, but not recognize in detail what, uh, who is behind that and achieving these targets. Radar technology is, for instance, very interesting. You can see that there is a person, but you do not know which person, who it is. So you can uh, accomplish the task without p potentially going into the detail of the data behind. I have a small video with me, and this shows a little VR bit. sensing revolutionizes the way we interact with the world. Your presence and movements become natural interfaces. Intuitive sensing. Touchless interaction. Radar sees through glass, plastics, and wood. It can also track human presence and moving objects. By sensing sub-millimeter motions, radar can even detect vital signs. Our sensitive radar sensors enable things to see. Part of your life, part of tomorrow. Infineon. So, uh, <clears throat> and I think what I said also, um, a fully connected world, and we talk about this again and again, when we uh, need to connect all of this to uh, really harvest on the data we have and uh, create the value. But connectivity, which is not well protected, is a substantial risk. And I think the world is not yet so far connected, and even today we are nervous about it. When we move on further, we have to think about how you manage the connectivity in a way that you have all the IT risks managed. And I think here it is not a matter of the single device. Of course, a puppet which can be intruded in the uh, child's room is dangerous, but it's not the threat to the overall system. In order to manage the threat of the overall system, we need both. We need, the, I would say, the protected and controlled element. And as well, a system where we can recognize who should be in and who is entitled to be in and who is not. And there's also a way where we can observe this from a behavioral approach. And I think the things will move forward. And here are topics where we also have the very good chance to set up the next level. I think the uh, DSGVO is a nice approach and very helpful, but I think we should not only think about limiting it, how we manage data, I think we also should think about the way forward, how we can create value. And this point I want to summarize. Uh, I think microelectronics is there because, of course, I'm an engineer, it's fascinating. On the other side, the real driver is what can we achieve with it, which problems can be solved. And by the way, a company which is dedicated to long-term problem solving, which matters, will be a company which is long-term sustainable, a company which can change accordingly when it's willing to recognize. So we do not only come along as a messenger. I think the being economically successful can be well connected with being contributing to what is needed on this planet. The digital transformation is, wish, of course, a challenge. Of course, it will bring us, as we heard before, into areas which may be get, where we get lost to. Well, I think here we have to have the ability to debate what is right and wrong. On the other side, it's also important that we, that we see the opportunities coming along and do not refrain from using those and being paralyzed about the risks. It is to master the risks, to be on top of those. And I think that we need the new debate. Very often, people say we should stay out. 
I do not agree. Staying out means to agree not to be able to, I would say, make a difference, to influence. I would say, participate and make the change, make the difference uh, moving into the right direction. Of course, we believe that what we are doing has a value. Of course, it has a value in various areas, but it's also the contribution. In Finian, from what it's doing, we are enabling to avoid more CO2 production by far then we invest in our products. This is something which makes all of our employees proud, and I think this is what is driving us. Of course, it is not any more possible only to think in, I do such an electronic device. We have to think about what is the problem to be solved and derived from there. And by the way, again, it helps us to be long-term successful because we do not think in the next financial opportunity only. We think about what will be there in a few years. And at the end of the day, Europe has a great chance to master the IT security in a way which is differentiating, which is open and protective and can help to make use of the data for the sake of a better life and a, I would say, even improving the CO2 footprint and help us with, uh, within the society to have a better living for all of us. And this is something which is for us very important and driving us constantly. We believe in recognizing these topics, which is also brought up by Fridays for Future, but we believe even more uh, that it is important to formulate ways forward how to achieve what is needed to be achieved. And therefore, we believe in the benefit and the possibilities of technologies being applied to a better life, to a better future of our planet, but it has to be done based on values and a mission which is really targeting for both a success, even in, as a company, but also a success and contribution for the, the world we are living on. Thank you very much.